Hey guys, welcome back to Monoview. Today in this video, we're gonna be going over eSATA boxes. We're gonna be discussing what they do, how they work, and of course, we're gonna show you how to integrate one into your Montview NVR system. Now an eSATA box essentially is a device that allows you to add additional SATA 3 grade hard drives to your system. And this is in addition to the ones that are internally already installed into your Montview NVR. Now an eSATA box is only capable of plugging into our 32 channel model Pro Series NVR. So if you guys have anything but a 32 channel NVR, this will not be applicable and you guys are gonna be relegated to just the internally located hard drives on your system. So the model I'm using today is the Mediasonic Pro Box. This is the four bay version with each bay able to contain up to 10 terabytes a piece. Mediasonic also makes an eight bay version of an eSATA box. So that is available as well. Now other brands and models are probably going to work just as well. Just keep in mind that the Mediasonic Pro Box is the only one that we can verify just because we personally had our hands on it and tested it, so it works. You guys are welcome to try other makes and models. It's a fairly simple technology, so it's likely gonna work with any kind of eSATA box that you guys find. So how this connects to the system is you're basically going to use an eSATA cable and it's going to run from the back of this device to the back of your NVR into the eSATA port. It's the only one that shows up is red on the back of the NVR, easy to see. The eSATA box itself is also going to plug into a wall outlet. And then of course, you're going to install your hard drives into this device. Most of the connections are automatically obtained. So as far as the software side of things, this is an easy setup. The list of components that we'll need are as follows. We need the eSATA box, the door panel, the hard drive bay cover, the power cable, this one's gonna come in two parts. We need the four plastic hard drive attachments, the eSATA cable. This little bag has eight screws. We're gonna need two per hard drive. The screwdriver, Phillips head, and then your hard drives. Finally, we're gonna need that 32 channel NVR. So let's get stuff plugged in and we'll show you guys how this all works. So before we plug this device into the NVR, we gotta prep our hard drives to install into the eSATA box. To do this, it's pretty easy. We just have to attach this little plastic piece to the front. When we're connecting this little plastic piece, we just have to make sure we're attaching it to the opposite end of the hard drive that our SATA connections are found. Our SATA connections are identified by these metallic connectors here. There's gonna be one long one and one short one. So now that we've identified the opposite end, now we're gonna see these two screw holes on each side of that hard drive and that's where you're gonna actually mount it to. So using the Phillips screwdriver, I'm gonna tighten these sides, make sure that the up signal is actually pointing up, and then you should be good to go. I'm gonna repeat this for the next three hard drives until they're all prepped. And looking good, we're ready to install them into the actual box. Again, you want the SATA plugins going first, You're gonna kind of feel them like pop in. There's not really a click, but you can definitely feel once it actually successfully goes in. Got my four hard drives snug in there. So now I'm going to put on the door. So the first one, this is a little bit trickier. It kind of goes into this little track on the bottom. And it clicks in just like that. Now to remove this for future reference, if you see these two tabs, you just push down on them and it opens up like that. Okay, so that's in. And then finally the door for the device. Next, we're gonna plug the power cable in. The power connector is on the side towards the back. And then I'm gonna run that to a standard wall outlet. Next, I'm gonna plug in the SATA cable from the eSATA box all the way to the red eSATA port on the back of the NVR. Okay, now the Pro Box is ready to fire up, so I'm gonna hit the power button, and you're gonna see it sort of initialize itself. We need to make sure it's registered to the eSATA connection and not the USB. To change where it's reading from, we just wanna hold the interface button on the upper right corner until we see that little light change over to eSATA. This last button here controls our fan and the indicators represent what fan power that you're on. My recommendation is going automatic, but if you guys are wanting something in particular or if the fan is too loud, you can set it to one, two, or three. One being the strongest fan setting and three being the weakest fan setting. Next, we need to sync it up with our NVR. So assuming your guys' NVR is already powered on, 
we're going to press and hold the sync button and you're gonna see this little arrow turn blue when it's properly synced. All right, now that we have all of the hard drives installed, the eSATA box is connected to the NVR, and of course it's showing all of our proper indicator lights saying that it's working and that it's synced up. We're ready to log into the NVR interface and we're gonna check our storage components just to make sure that those hard drives are being read properly and that we can see the eSATA box is detected on our NVR. All right, first we're gonna go to the main menu. So right click anywhere on the screen and choose main menu. Then on the bottom, we're gonna to go to storage. And once we're in storage, we're gonna look on the left side and we're gonna click on manager. Now we can see all of our eSATA hard drives that they are indicated as such. And of course we can also see the hard drives that are located internally on the NVR. It's gonna show you the read and the write values. It's also gonna show you the available space versus the total space on that hard drive. Okay, as long as we can see our hard drives are available on our NVR, you guys are finished with this and your eSATA box is properly set up. Okay guys, that completes the eSATA box tutorial. Hopefully everything went smooth for you guys and you're now looking at additional hard drive storage on your 32 channel system. If you guys ran into any obstacles or if you have any questions about this process or anything else Montevideo related, give our tech support a call. We are here Monday through Friday and we will answer any question you guys have for us. As always, I appreciate you guys checking out the video. Please like and subscribe down below. I'm on the road to a thousand subscribers, so help me get there. I'd like to be there sooner than later, so thank you for that. And you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you for choosing one of you.